Now we head to our U.S. correspondent, Bianca Perez, who has been following the poops uh, trips in uh, the United States. And of course, she has a perspective on the aftermath of the pontiff's speech. Hi, Bianca. It's been widely reported that Pope Francis is the first pontiff to address a joint session of the U.S. Congress. Can you explain the significance of this historic event? Hi, Regan. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, he has, of course, been the first pope to address a joint session of Congress, and this is very significant because of the messages that he brought up uh, during this meeting. Uh, he spoke, of course, of climate change, which he has been speaking of in all of his people visits throughout the world. He also spoke of uh, ending war and, you know, all of the lives that have been lost. Uh, because of violence and war around the world. Uh, he also mentioned the refugees and, and migrants from all over the nation, uh, from all over the world, who have, you know, chosen to, or who have been forced to leave their home countries and due to violence, due to poverty, due to uh, different circumstances. And he asked uh, members of Congress and all of the other important governmental representatives that were there uh, during this meeting to please um, allow these people to, to come here, and, and not only here in the U.S., but our whole continent. He mentioned that, you know, we should be opening our arms uh, to welcome these people and allow them to have the same opportunities that people in, this, in the whole American continent have had. Uh, thus far, he also mentioned um, uh, the death penalty and the abolition of the death penalty, which uh, to him is something that is very significant. Uh, he brought up uh, justice and equality that the Congress uh, should represent for the people as representatives of the people. And uh, he mentioned Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King, during this example. He also um, expressed, you know, uh, that yes, it, although he is grateful for the efforts that have been made in climate change, he would uh, really want everyone in the world, not only the world leaders, but people to kind of make an effort uh, to to together come and, and make these changes that will help not only the planet but humanity itself. And I wanted to highlight that, you know, while he was addressing Congress, it, there was a, a celebration, as they called it. Uh, many organizations came together outside of Congress uh, during this meeting, and they were there for different social uh, causes, such as, you know, all of the um, issues that he mentioned during his uh, meeting with Congress, and they were very, very hopeful and very thankful uh, to Pope Francis for addressing these issues with the government, and, and they were hoping that his message will get across and that it will make a difference and that, you know, these social issues will be uh, now talked about in Congress uh, in, with more solutions to come. Finally, Bianca, and we know the Pope has chosen to, he had chosen to have lunch with homeless people after his speech. What do you think is the message that he's sending to the rest of the world? I'm sorry, Regan. I, can you repeat the question? Uh, lunch with some homeless people after his speech. What message do you think he's sending to the world? Yes, we were uh, actually present during uh, this luncheon, which he hosted after his speech. Uh, it was at the St. Patrick's Cathedral uh, here in Washington, D.C., and uh, you know, his message with this was that of humility. Uh, he is a pope of the people, as he has said himself, and he wanted to, he chose to spend this time with the homeless community and, and some members of the church who were very eager to have him there. Uh, he came to St. Patrick's Cathedral. He blessed their lunch, and uh, he walked among the masses, and people were able to, you know, be near him, ask for his blessing. They were uh, able to touch his hand. A lot of people were very moved by the fact that, you know, he walked between everyone, um, and, and he allowed people to take pictures with him and to, and to ask for his blessing, although security uh, was obviously with him. But uh, he, he got very close to the people, and that was, I think, the message that he was trying to give, that, you know, he is willing to... to to show all of the things that he says, he's also willing to do them. He wants to spend the time with the people who most need it. Thank you so much, Bianca. We know we have, you have a long day with the Pope today. We'll touch base with you tomorrow.